what's going on guys it's your boy king red diamonds and yes i'm back i'm back for another neo 2 video and for those of you guys who are new to the channel thank you so much for subscribing i appreciate the support for those of you who are recurring subscri subscribers of the channel appreciate you guys so much for sticking with me man uh a lot been going on but i'm ready to get back into this all right so before i get into it I ask that you guys please like, comment, and for those of you who are not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I have a lot more stuff coming for you guys, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, let's get into the video. All right, guys. So we're going to be going over ultimate stats. Now, I was asked this previously um, a little while ago to pretty much like go over them. Um, because I never did a video for him, which is crazy. I usually do a video for every little thing on this on this game. So um, I did put a short out about which I thought which stat I thought was the best ultimate stat, and it was courage. Um, so I know courage isn't the only stat everyone is going to use. Everyone has different builds, so everyone's going to be taking advantage of different stats. So why not just go over them to give everyone a basis of them and pretty much explain to the people. Um, who may be newer to the game, which I have seen that there are a lot of new players and I appreciate it But um, to give those those people who are new to the game help and as well as you know inform people who have been playing the game for a while Who still aren't very clear on things. So um, We're gonna be going over ultimate stats Now before I get into those ultimate stats I'm just gonna explain briefly what ultimate stats are now. They are pretty much special effects that can be found on um, your scrolls or on actual um armor sets so there are certain armor sets in the game that do come with ultimate stats once you hit that um that, that number of requirements for the set to use um you can gain access to that ultimate stat if it has it on that set so you can gain them on sets and scrolls all right so ultimate stats are pretty much again special effects that give you certain boosts and advantages in battle um, depending on if you have enough stat points in that particular um, stat. So, for example, Constitution right here. Ultimate Constitution, you need to have a Constitution of 150 or higher for you to even be able to use this stat. If you don't have 150 Constitution, it will, be in effect, it will not be in effect and you won't be taking advantage of it. So, once you hit that 150 um, stat requirement in Constitution, then the second part of it activates, which allows you to help uh, allows your health to rapidly replenish itself when you are at 70 percent health or higher. So basically. Ultimate Constitution allows you to regen as long as your health stays topped off pretty much. So Ultimate Constitution would be really, really good with, say, um, Extraction Talisman. And then you have. Um, health um, auto health recovery or health recovery on amrit absorption this will keep you topped off as well as have con um, ultimate constitution completely like just you know completely healing you and healing you and healing you so you'll have constant healing and um, it'll be very good for someone who um, pretty much like is an like all a straight offensive build so if you are strictly an offensive build and you just want to attack 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 Without having to worry about uh, defense, Ultimate Constitution could be for you because it could help you rapidly regenerate and then um, you could pretty much be unkillable So, um, if you make the right build for it. So that is what Ultimate Constitution does. Helps you regen as long as your health is 7% or higher. Alright, so we're going to move on to the next stat. Alright guys, so now we're going on to the second Ultimate stat and that is going to be Ultimate Heart. Now again, um, in order to use Ultimate Heart, like every other Ultimate stat, you must have a minimum of 150 stat points in that particular stat. So obviously for Heart, you need 150 Heart in order to use it. And once you use Heart, it increases the amount of key recovery when performing a key pulse by switching stances. So basically when you key flux or switch a stance in general, you're going to get more key back if you have Ultimate Heart equipped. So for those of you who um, well, I would say everybody should be one of these people, but for those of you who are um, advanced with your key pulsing, as in 
you key pulse at the right time and you also have perfect timing on your key pulses to get your key back immediately this is a good stat for you to use um i know for a fact that the fists the fist use a lot of keys so you have to be good with your key pulsing when you use the fist weapons this will actually be a pretty decent ultimate stat for those simply because you want like I said, the fists take a lot of key to use. So if you're good with your key pulsing and you are a fist weapon user, you'll be getting back way more key than you would normally if you were to have ultimate heart on. OK, so um, that's just an example. Um, there are other weapons that take a lot of key to use. For example, the Switch Glaive is one. Um, the Tonfa is one as well. So um, there are plenty of weapons that take a lot of key to use. Ultimate heart could help especially if you are one of those people who um, constantly key pulse. I know that me personally, I key pulse a lot um, because I do like I do attack my enemy like relentlessly. So I use a lot of key when I'm fighting. So uh, my build is tailor made for me to completely always have key simply because I'm always attacking. So um, ultimate heart is definitely very good to have if you tend to key pulse a lot, especially if you have good timing on your key pulses. OK. So that is your ultimate heart stat. All right. So next up, we have my favorite stat. And in, in my opinion, probably the best ultimate stat in the game by far. And that is ultimate courage. Again, you need 150 minimum courage or more. Um, and then once you have that um, 150 courage, it reduces the key consumption when attacking and greatly weakens effects of status ailments that slow down your key recovery. So that first that first effect by itself immediately makes this the best ultimate stat in the game remember what i said previously key is very important literally if you don't have key in this game you're pretty much dead okay so the more key you have the more the constantly the however quickly you can get your key back that could be the difference between you actually winning a fight and dying, okay? So the fact that this ultimate stat reduces your key consumption when you're attacking, meaning that the more you attack, the less key you're using. So you can get in more attacks and more combos and more, you know, more damage because it's, const it's using less of your key. And then if you have a build or weapons or certain or anything else that helps with your key regeneration, you are literally never going to run out of key. So ultimate stat, in my opinion, by far, I mean, ultimate courage, in my opinion, by far the best ultimate stat, by far. All right. And then it has the added effect of slowing down, um, pretty much weakening the effects of anything that can slow down your key recovery. So say you are in a, um, a, dark, uh, um, a dark realm. If you're in a dark realm, which pretty much when a yokai casts a dark realm, it slow down its key recovery and health regeneration. This will combat that basically. It'll allow you to get your key back much faster than you normally would if you didn't have ultimate courage. All right. So definitely a very good stat. I would say anybody who is making a build, try your best to implement ultimate courage into that build. You'll definitely not regret it. But let's move on to the next one. So next up, we have Ultimate Stamina. Now, Ultimate Stamina is kind of unique because it doesn't really give you like passive boosts or like attack and defense boosts, really. Um, it more so just um, influences your equipment. So as you can see, you need 150 stamina or higher to use it. And it, unlo it unlocks rank AA or, um, for agility and rank AA for toughness. So for those of you who use um, light gear and like to be in a agility and like to be super speedy and fast and just deceptive and all that um, if you have over 150 stamina you'll be able to unlock rank aa agility which will make you obviously faster um, and for those of you like myself who like to pretty much be a lot a little tankier you know like to to tank through hits while also dealing damage you would want to go with double a toughness um, on my build currently, I do have double A toughness, so um, that is my go-to for whenever I use ultimate stamina. I don't like light gear; um, they take too much damage for me, and 
Um, I don't, I dodge and I block, but um, when I'm fighting, I tend to literally just, you know, try to blitz my enemy simply because my build is made to take those hits. So I use double A toughness, but that's what ultimate stamina does. Okay. So you can have double A agility for a low, um, for um, light gear, or you can have double A toughness for mid to heavy gear. All right. Alrighty guys, so next up we have strength, ultimate strength. You need 150 or higher strength for it to take effect. It increases the key damage you inflict while also allowing you to recover your key with a key pulse by guarding, even when you are not using a blessed weapon. If you are using a blessed weapon, the amount of key you recover when guarding will increase. So, with ultimate strength, you're going to deal more key damage. And you'll be able to keep pulse without using a blessed weapon, which is pretty much a weapon that innately has um, purity on it. Okay, so once a weapon is pure, has purity on it, it is considered a blessed weapon. So um, if you did not know, whenever you use a purity weapon and you guard, you are able to keep pulse while guarding. It's one of the effects of having a purity weapon. Just as with having a corruption weapon, you steal key from your um, from the enemy. Um, you guard if you guard and you keep uh, if you guard um, you can keep pulse while guarding usually and with any other weapon you cannot keep pulse while guarding so um, that is something that is reserved specifically for blessed weapons but if you have ultimate strength you don't need a blessed weapon and you can pretty much um, keep pulse while guarding so imagine using a corruption weapon for example which steals key but you can't keep pulse while guarding using a regular corruption weapon if you have ultimate strength you'll be able to combine both the purity weapons key pulse while guarding with the corruption's weapon uh, with the corruption weapons key stealing and now you have a wombo combo all right so um ultimate ultimate strength is definitely something that i would definitely say um is worth using as well um who doesn't want to do more key damage for one and obviously key pulsing while guarding is something that it's very good. It's not something that you're probably going to do often, but when it does happen, it does give you that little boost of key. So, you know, you know what I said earlier, key, like the, the smallest amount of key can make the difference between you living and you dying. OK, so um, definitely take a look at ultimate strength if you're into that. All right. Let's move on to the next. All right, guys. So now we're going to go over ultimate skill. Now, if you have 150, 150 more, uh, 150 or more skill. Um, you'll be able to activate these effects, which is your key pulse heaven, man, and earth will be triggered even when you don't succeed in uh, recovering full key via key pulse. It also extends your invulnerability period when performing a key pulse by dodging. Um, now, if you don't know with uh, what key pulse heaven, man, and earth is, um, I will have a graphic right there on the side of the screen that will show you. Um, key pulse um, heaven, man, and earth are pretty much in your... Um, samurai ski tr uh, skill tree so if you go to your samurai skill tree the first three nodes that you need to activate are what is considered your key pulse heaven man and earth okay so heaven is the uh, key pulse at the top which are which is your high stance key pulse um, key pulse man is your mid stance keep mid stance key pulse and then keep um key pulse earth is your low stance key pulse okay so when you key pulse in each of these different um, stances in heaven, once you do a perfect key pulse, you'll be able to get like a, uh, a slight attack buff after you perform a perfect key pulse with your, uh, in your high stance. In your mid stance with key pulse man, you'll um, gain, um, I think, a defensive buff as well. So your defense will be increased for that, like for that little moment after you perform a perfect key pulse in mid stance. And then once you perform a perfect key pulse in, um, in low stance, which is key pulse earth, that is when you will be able to dodge without using key. So once you dodge, um, you will pretty much not use any key. And then if you dodge again, then you will use key. So it only works for that first dodge and then that's it. Um, on to other parts of that. They have, you know, other advanced parts, which is the running. I think it's called running heaven. Um, and then running man and then running um, earth, which is pretty much heaven, man and earth key pulse. All of those are activated just by dodging. So if you dodge at the perfect time while, um, while being able to key pulse, you will pretty much get all of those buffs activated immediately. 
without having to worry about you know doing a perfect key pulse okay so um ultimate skill is it's it's more niche really it's not something that i would say is like a make or break of your build truly um it's a nice you know addition to have but it's not something i would base my um build off okay um so again everyone's going to have something different they use so each of these will be good if you use them correctly all right so that is um ultimate skill next we're moving on to ultimate dex um this scroll took me a while to get it i, I had to i had to farm it up because i didn't have any ultimate deck scrolls but finally got one but um as you can see like everything else ultimate decks um it requires you to have a stat um of 150 or more for it to take effect and it basically just allows you to use both of your ninjutsu mystic arts um without having to um pretty much without having to switch between the two you can just have ultimate decks and then you'll automatically have access to both of your mystic arts on dexterity this is very good for builds that actually use decks or basically use ninjutsu so um if you have a ninjutsu build you want to find um a scroll or um a set with ultimate decks on it so you can take advantage of both your mystic arts okay um ultimate decks and ultimate magic are pretty much one and the same just one is for dexterity which is ninjutsu based and then one is for magic obviously which is your own meal based stuff but um they basically do the same thing but i'll go on to the next one but that's it for ultimate decks plain and simple you can use both ninjutsu and mystic arts that's about it and last but not least we have my second favorite ultimate stat which is ultimate magic um ultimate magic obviously you need 150 in magic in order for uh, until it takes effect and it allows you to use both your mystic arts um for magic now both magic and mystic arts are very good um both of them individually without having ultimate magic is are very good um but if you have ultimate magic it pretty much makes it even better um i love using um as you can see on this scroll i love using ultimate magic and ultimate curse together um they just work very well together as well as um the build that i use i love using magic in my build i always use barrier talisman extraction um purification talisman all that stuff so um with the ultimate magic um stat when you use both your um both of your mystic arts one of them allows you to pretty much cast your magic faster and the other one allows you to pretty much keep your magic up longer and the higher your stat is the longer and more power the longer your magic will last and the more powerful it'll be so um using ultimate magic is very good even if you don't have a magic based build um i feel as though ultimate magic is better than ultimate dexterity because um again dexterity um ninjutsu does have um passive bo bonuses like they have um like uh, power pills they have uh like the anti-toxin pills so some of those stuff some of that stuff is good but in terms of magic magic gives a bit more utility to your builds rather than using um ninjutsu ninjutsu is more specialized but magic is a lot more broad um than ninjutsu is you can have magic on any build um you can take advantage of any of the magic on any build you use especially the magic that again like i said gives you passive bonuses like a barrier talisman for example that gives you um instant it pretty much gives you um max key recovery as well as it instantly purifies any yokai pools as long as you touch them you don't have to key pulse anything as long as you run through a yokai pool it'll purify it and you'll get whatever bonus or or, or buff your build has with purification or whatever it has so I feel as though ultimate magic is a bit better than ultimate dexterity, but they can both be used and utilized um, in the right situations. But uh, that is pretty much everything on ultimate stats. Um, hopefully this helped you all out with, you know, choosing which ultimate stat you may want to use for your build. If you have any questions, always I'm always available for you to ask. You can comment down or you can um, go into the discord that I've recently created and you can also... Um, ask questions there um a lot of people I, I, i'm trying to get more people into it that way you know we can have our discussions and if you ever need to you know get in contact with me rather than trying to comment on one of my videos you go straight into the, into the discord and i'll be able to answer any questions you may have so um again thank you all so much for the support i appreciate you all so much um remember like comment subscribe share with your friends post it online use it everywhere 
um, get it out there so that um, we can get more people um, pretty much up to speed with anything in this game. All right. So it's King Ray Diamonds, guys. Appreciate you. And I'm out.